if he's going to do it? And did I do something wrong that maybe he's not going to? The devil is a liar. That's just messing up your vision. Glory to God. If he said it, now watch this. If he said it, if God said it, can I tell you, it's already done. It's just a matter of your flesh catching up with your spirit. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. And so, understand this. That's why I always have to say, I am the righteousness of God. That's to keep the enemy from making you feel guilt and condemnation just because maybe you did something or missed something or said something or just, you know, that's his job. He stands to accuse us day and night. Sometimes you got to realize that that guilt and condemnation has nothing to do with you. Come on. It has nothing to do with you. Especially when you know you're doing all you know to do. Anybody here know I'm doing the best I know. I am doing all I know. So then where is that coming from? Do you see what I'm saying? What is that? So this is why the word of God gives you something to answer that. Remember when we read Isaiah chapter 14? You all know Isaiah yeah. chapter 14. Yeah. The I wills will. of Satan. Yes. Yes. I will arise. Yes. I will ascend. Yes. I will yes. set up my... He yes. went on and on and on. And watch this. When he finished, God answered. Yes. Yes. Saints, you got to answer when he comes to yes. talking to you yes. and telling you these things. Yes. Because if you don't Come answer, on, he keeps on going. Right. Right. Or when you answer, I am the righteousness of God. Amen. There is therefore now no condemnation. When you answer, he's got to go. Now maybe he'll come back. I don't know. I guess it depends on how well you answer. That's right. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Proverbs 20 says, The counsel in the heart is the way of life. Proverbs 20, 20. Proverbs 20 says, The counsel in the heart and heart, you understand, is mind. Soulish realm. You get that, right? Okay, you know when the Bible talks about heart and it says it a lot. It's not talking about your flesh pumping, beating heart. Okay? It's talking about the soul, the deep realms of your mind. All right, so now let me read Proverbs 25. It says, Counsel in the heart or the mind of man is like deep waters. But a man of understanding will draw it out. Glory to God. And the word of God is going to draw out of you so that you can understand what's inside of you. Sometimes it's more deep than even you can comprehend. Yes. But thank God it's there. You know why? Because that's what keeps you going. Yes. It really does. When you know that there's something beyond yes. where you are, yes. and you just have to keep pressing towards it. Paul said, I press towards the mark. It is a high calling, people are. You've been called to higher places and higher things. You are not to wallow in the levels of others because you're not called to be like them. Right. In fact, they need to be watching you so they can be like you. Amen. So then, let's get then to, to, to the numbers. 8, 8, 18 equals what? 34. Well, you know three is the number of God. It's the Trinity. It's the Godhead. All right? It is literally the Father, the Son, Holy Spirit, the divine oneness, the Trinity, the unity that they form as one. That's what is so wonderful about understanding when you are acknowledging, when you are literally speaking and talking to Holy Spirit, you're not literally not talking to God the Father through Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. You can't do it. Because right. these three are wow. one. In other words, um, <laughs> if I start talking to Pastor Valerie, mm -hmm. am I also talking to Valerie? Yes. yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. And even the sister, mm -hmm. Valerie. Mm -hmm. And I could go on and on. I can't say anything to her without all the rest of her. Yeah. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Because one of the things we got to realize is that there's greater revelation to come of our holy God. Mm -hmm. And he wants to give it to us. Hallelujah. And I believe we've entered into that season. And I think that's why I'm really kind of excited about it, to say the least. Glory to God. So then I begin.